Here's why the Minnesota Vikings should not trade Daniel Hunter and why we should keep him for however long we need to, which will hopefully be an extended period of time, due to the fact that the Vikings can no longer trade him, and the Vikings receive no draft compensation if Daniel walks, and Daniel Hunter still plays elite at his position, so that part is clear. He's leading the league in sacks, and uh, um, I would not want to get rid of a guy who's leading the league in sacks, and Brian Flores... Uh, defensive coordinator of the Vikings, who I love a lot, mentioned that Daniel Hunter had his best game of the season without having any sacks against the Falcons. And also, he's a great pass rusher. And he can even he's even becoming a, a great run defender. Pretty sure he already is. And you also have uh, a guy like him who's extremely versatile and can play more than one position, including dropping back into coverage and being an outside linebacker type player. And he wants to be here. You don't have many veterans like that that actually want to be on the team, except for the Minnesota Vikings, the great Minnesota Vikings. And chances of finding the deal, Daniel Hunter in the draft, they were very slim. And finding another player like Daniel twice is going to be even slimmer. And signing a free agent to replace him would cost money, and probably the player wouldn't be as good. And <sighs> they're like, I could, keep, I could keep going on and on with a hundred other reasons, but Daniel Hunter is just that guy, and I want him to remain on our team, so... I love him. Oh, yeah. And the last reason, it's kind of personal. But Daniel Hunter is the reason why, one of the big reasons why I'm a big Vikings fan. Like, he is, well, not exactly why I'm a Vikings fan, but he has made my my life as a Vikings fan so much more fun with all the sacks and celebrations, the karate kick. And Daniel Hunter, he's one of my favorite Vikings ever. And especially Daniel Hunter in his prime was amazing for six-year-old, seven-year-old me to watch. So, I'm um, so glad that I can still see him to this day doing great things, and I hope that the Vikings keep him, which I'm pretty sure we will. Skull, see you guys later.